Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new. I am so excited for today's video. Uh, we are starting off with our ice cream theme DIYs. So if you're really, really excited for these um, DIYs, please make sure to show me some love by giving me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would join the fam by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know every single time that I upload. All right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get started on today's DIY projects. I'm going to go ahead and show you all the different that you need. And I did pick everything up from Dollar Tree. All right, you guys, so for this cake, we are gonna take this car sponge and we are gonna go ahead and take the brown paint and we are gonna go ahead and give it a nice coat of paint and it's gonna be our chocolate layer. So of course, if that's the color uh, or flavor, if you will, um, that you want. Um, and then we are gonna go ahead and take the caulking and we are gonna go ahead and make this into our frosting for the top of our little round here. This is gonna be the top of our cake. Now I'm only gonna be using one of the rounds. We are gonna save the other one for a different project. Um, but this is just going to be basically, as you can see here, I'm just kind of sloppily, if you will, uh, spreading it around. I didn't add any type of color because, you know, frosting is white. Um, plus, we're going to be adding so much stuff to this. And now we're going to take more of this caulking. And this is where we're going to add some color. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. And this is going to be a scoop that we are going to add on top of our little ice cream cake because this is gonna be, basically it's a regular cake with a little ice cream on top of it. And I think it turned out so stinking cute. It's basically like a little personalized cake that I wanted to go ahead and make. It's a little uh, faux cake, obviously. Um, and I think this would be super cute in any display, tear tray, or anything like that. Um, and this is going to be for a um, ice cream theme party that I'm going to have for my son. So anyway, um, I'm going to be making quite a few DIYs. And of course, I will show you guys how I set everything up. But yeah, he's going to be 20 years old and I am creating all of these DIYs for his birthday party. So I really hope that he loves it and trying to not be as girly girly, but I can't help it, you guys. And, um, you know, usually it's a girl theme, but hey, it could be any, any gender anyway. I personally say don't let anything be gender specific and have fun with whatever you want. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and take this colored caulking and I thought the scoop was going to come out like a real scoop. Clearly it didn't. So what we're doing here is we're just using one of those popsicle sticks and I'm just kind of making it as smooth as possible without making it too perfect just because obviously a scoop never comes out perfect. And then we are going to go ahead and make the outside part of it because, you know, um, in a picture, the ice cream cone always has like the little um, flared area in the outer part, if that makes any sense. So we're going to go ahead and work on that next. But yeah, this turned out so, so cute. So you guys will have to tell me what you think.
Alrighty, so now we are gonna go ahead and add real sprinkles to our cake topper. And then, as you notice, we did do the Mod Podge over the real um, ice cream cone. And now we are just gonna go ahead and put the cake topper over the chocolate layer. And then we're gonna let the actual ice cream cone part dry. In the meantime, we're gonna take our pink icing and we are gonna go ahead and put that on the bottom portion of our cake. And you know, I am not a professional cake decorator by any means, but this turned out absolutely gorgeous if I do say so myself. <laughs> Once I am done adding the frosting to the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it out with my finger and then I'm going to add some sprinkles to the bottom layer just to give it that fun, festive look. And then once we are done with that, we are gonna add some fun pieces to the top part um, and of course we're going to glue it down and all that jazz you guys will see me work on that but um, I just wanted to let you guys know that you want to let a lot of the stuff um, kind of basically dry in between or else you're going to make it kind of a hot mess All right, you guys, so we are gonna take our hot glue gun and we are gonna add drizzle. Um, so it's basically going to look like chocolate drizzle when it's all said and done, because we are gonna let this dry just a little bit, and then we are going to paint it um, brown so that it looks like it's just chocolate falling down from the cake. So it gives it such a cool, awesome effect. Um, I kind of wish I would have made them a little bit thicker, but when it's all said and done, it turned out super cute, so it didn't really matter. Um, and then of course, uh, once it's that time, I'm gonna also add uh, some of that drizzle to the cone, so it looks like it's coming from the cone and kind of expanding to the cake. So it's really, really cute. And I'm just taking some uh, brown paint, and that's basically what I'm using. And as you can see here, I'm just, I let the uh, hot glue cool enough to where now I can go ahead and just paint over that. All right, so a couple things here. Um, as you noticed, I went ahead and added the cone. Originally, I was going to add um, the cone with hot glue, and then I realized I didn't need to because um, the dough, or it's not dough, it's, you know, the cloak wasn't that um, dry, and so I was still able to put it on to where it would attach easily without any fear of it falling off. So that's the first thing. Second thing is I, totally 
uh, accidentally dropped way too many sprinkles, but I didn't want to mess with it too much. So I just kind of let it go and not a big deal. I was going to add more decor, um, to the edge of the cake anyway. Um, and it kind of hid the crazy amount of sprinkles that it added. And so I just kind of went with it. You guys, if you ever commit a little bit of a mistake, like I did, you know, just work with it, let it go. I mean, it, it just adds color and fun. And in my opinion, there are no such things as mistakes, just fun creations. Anyway, and as you can see here, I'm just adding another level of decor um, and struggling a little bit um, because, you know, using a Ziploc versus an actual kit is a whole different ball game. Now, I wanted to let you guys know that these little flowers, they came in the dollar store beads. Um, so if you ever get a pack from Dollar Tree, these random flowers came in there. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. I mean, obviously, if you were to buy a cake, they would be edible. And so go with me. We're going to pretend like that's what we're eating or what we're doing. And this is the finale. And isn't it just the cutest thing ever? And then my little setup. Okay, part of it anyway. This is just to give you guys an idea but I just love it so much. Please let me know what you guys think because I'm so obsessed. Anyway, uh, for our next DIY project, I'm gonna go ahead and take some um, brown foam and we are gonna go ahead and make a faux ice cream sandwich. So basically all you're gonna do is take the foam and you're gonna cut it into the shape of what an ice cream sandwich would be and then you guys will be able to see the different tools that I use to make the holes on the top of one of the layers of the ice cream sandwich. So you definitely saw that correct. We are using a different type of sponge. This is a dishwashing sponge. Um, and the cool thing about this is it gives it an awesome texture. And I opted to go with a pink one because you could create a Neapolitan ice cream by painting two um, a different uh, section. So I did, uh, you know, the brown for the chocolate, of course, and then I'm going to do the white for the vanilla, and then you could leave the pink portion for the strawberry. So, I mean, I think it's just so cute and it turns out so beautiful. And obviously you don't have to paint the top or bottom uh, sections because, um, you know, your foam parts are going to cover that. Um, but yeah, this is a super easy way and it gives you a fun texture and it looks so realistic and fun especially from afar um, and it would make such a cute display and that's kind of the purpose and the point um, and you can make as many of these as you want you can make all vanilla you can make chocolate chip you can make you know mint chocolate I mean so many different crazy you know flavors that you can add make orange i mean seriously there are so many different options but i just wanted to show you guys the one that i opted to go with of course 
um, but this just turned out so fun and then I ended up using those two tools originally but I still felt like the holes were pretty small so I just took these itty bitty scissors and then just kind of poked the holes a little bit bigger um, now if I had a tiny hole punch I could have gone that route or I could have gone to my Cricut and actually used it to make itty bitty holes but you know what this turned out so fun and so cute that it didn't even matter so you guys will have to tell me what you think of the second DIY project All right, you guys, we've made it to our last DIY project, which is a two-parter. Um, I got these super cute mason jars from the craft section at Dollar Tree, of course. Now we are gonna go ahead and take our spackling. I kept calling it caulking at the beginning of the video. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I'm sure you guys got the gist of it because I showed you the actual ingredients or products that you need at the beginning <laughs> ingredients like you're making a real cake or ice cream oh you guys anyway um you are going to use the caulking just because it's a little bit more runny um and for this particular uh project that's exactly what you need um now the camera ended up dying when i was adding the color but stay tuned because the actual uh shake the the strawberry shake you can see it a lot better um, but the idea is when you're adding in your color, you want to add a little bit of color and more of the white so that it gives it that foamy look like you could see here. Um, and basically it looks like you have an actual root beer float or a shake or whatever it is that you want it to look like or create. Um, but I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I wanna drink it or eat it right now so bad, even though it's not real. Anyway, <laughs> and see how it gives it that foamy, yummy look, ah, so good. Now here, um, I ended up just adding more of the caulking on the very top and kind of messily uh, just kind of gave it that foamy look on the top. Um, I was trying to make it look like whipped cream, but it just kind of ended up being a little bit of a hot mess. Now, what I ended up doing is I took some of those beads from the little flowers that we had originally, and I wanted them to look like fun, um, big, sprinkles because I like changing things up I don't want them to all have the same type of sprinkles um so let's just go with it and pretend like these are sprinkles and then I took some of the foam uh, balls from um, Dollar Tree and I added those on top as well you'll see here in a minute <laughs> and then I added a straw of course and then I realized I actually like it with two straws, so you'll see me add another straw. But the whole point that I'm getting at, you guys, is that have fun with it. It's faux. Make it look as fun and as cute as you want. And then here, I thought this sticker would be so freaking cute because uh, it's a little popsicle. See how cute that is? And it's a display. And those are the foam balls that I was referring to. Um, I don't even know what the heck these are used for. I think my niece uses them when she makes um, slime. Um, but other than that, I don't know what else they're used for. But I think they make the perfect faux sprinkles. And that is what I used it for. And is that not the cutest thing ever? Um, so I do add another straw in a little bit. And then I will show you guys that I wanted to add a little bit more. Because the straws actually have gold. And I wanted to add more. So you'll stay tuned for that. I'm going to add it. Now here um, is where we're starting the shake. And basically I'm just taking what's left over of this pink since I had already had it and why waste it since I had it. And then I'm gonna add more caulking, of course, and then more of the spackling. So, you know, use up everything you have. Um, don't let anything go to waste, I never do. And um, you're gonna repeat the process and here I'm just showing you that you're gonna wanna mix everything and then I'm showing you that the trick is that you're gonna wanna put everything 
on the edge of your little container. So you never have to really make it full full. So you're not wasting the product. You just wanna make sure to cover the edges of your actual container. Now the other trick is when you're adding um, the topper, what I did, and again, this is up to you guys, you can uh, see here it's already finished. You can actually add a paper towel inside, um, or I had um, my used Ziploc that I ended up just stuffing in there. And then I went ahead and added more of the spackling um, so that we had our um, frosting or, you know, whipped cream, if you will. Um, and then I ended up decorating it to my liking. I ended up adding strawberry drizzle the exact same way that we did the cake, but this one turned out much better in my opinion. You know, it's just a matter of playing and perfecting your talent um, and getting it the way that you like it. Um, at first, I thought I wanted to leave the little um flamingo but then i wasn't feeling it so you guys will see me changing it and that's the beauty of doing this while it's still wet obviously is that you can change things around um, but you guys have so much fun with it do what makes your heart happy i know i say that all of the time but i mean it and then don't worry about the jar getting messy on the outside the beauty of the speckling and or um you know the the caulking is that it's easily removed once it dries it just scratches right off and then i use these stickers as toppers and they're just little strawberries because obviously i don't want to be putting a real food i know that we used a real um sugar cone for the cake but we ended up adding mod podge to seal that but you know you want to use as much fake um, stuff as possible. You don't want to be using the real stuff. Um, but anyway, so here is where I'm adding the drizzle and you guys will see me change up the other one just a little bit, but I love the way that this last project turned out. I want you guys to tell me which one is your favorite as always. And I want you guys to tell me, um, you know, if you think you're going to recreate any of these, or if you like this ice cream idea, um, if you think you would use it for like a party or, you know, just to decorate, um, I'm thinking that I am probably going to use this as my theme for next year. I love it so much and I think I could add so much to it. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Well guys, that concludes today's video. I hope you loved it. Thank you so much for sharing your day with me today and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks for watching, bye guys.